welcome to my summary of deltas. Deltas form when rivers uh, bring sediment into a standing body of water, and the amount of sediment brought in by the river is sufficient that the mouth of the river builds out into the standing water, creating a delta. Deltas are uh, dominated by rivers because rivers are providing the sediment. So on the delta plain, which is a flat area of land, if you draw a cross section, you tend to have river facies, particularly meandering rivers. And then when the river reaches the standing body of water, sediment gets deposited. And particularly right at the river mouth, you have uh, abundant sediment deposition. There are three main types of deltas. Uh, river dominated, where the offshore transport of sediment is mostly due to slope failure uh, as the delta builds up. There are wave and storm influenced deltas, where waves and storms redistribute the sediment and change the geometry. And there are tide influenced deltas, where tidal currents are one of the main factors redistributing uh, the sediment. Those three types of deltas have very different geometries. So if you look at a river dominated delta, you end up with river channels bringing sediment out. They build up levees, and the rivers become distributary. They branch, and so you end up with multiple channels uh, with flow. And you end up with bars uh, or uh, at the mouths of the river channels where you have very rapid sedimentation, bays between them, and levees. Uh, River-dominated deltas tend to have a bird's foot pattern like this. And the Mississippi River Delta is an excellent example. Wave and storm influence deltas still have a very strong uh, signature from the rivers bringing the sediment in. Those are usually meandering rivers. And they also become distributary towards the mouth. So we'll add another distributary here. But what happens with the sediment uh, when it reaches the mouth is that the wave activity tends to wash it back and forth and it tends to form beaches and redistribute that sediment along the area. So you end up with beaches here and wave ripples offshore and often storm deposits uh, in the delta slope area. Um, and so you end up with a distinctive geometry uh, because of the wave activity and you end up with sedimentary structures that are characteristic of storms. Tide influence deltas also have a redistribution of sediment and change the geometry. So again, the river is a major influence, so it's not tide dominated, it's tide influenced. Um, and the rivers become distributary because of the low slope. Here. And in this case, you have tidal currents coming up and down. And so at the mouths of the river, where the sediment's being distributed, you have flow in both directions as the tide changes back and forth. So you end up with a very strong orientation of the channels, offshore and onshore, and you end up with a lot of tidal channels in the margins in between here, in the bars. So in the case of a tide influence delta, you'd expect a typical tide tidal sedimentary structures, such as herringbone cross stratification, mud drapes, and reactivation surfaces. Uh, the, uh, Beng uh, the Bengal fan in Bangladesh uh, is an excellent example of a tide influence delta. And I should say the Niger River Delta um, in West Africa uh, is an excellent example of a wave influenced uh, delta. So, thanks for watching.